Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue building the ultimate tsunami survival boat capable of withstanding the worst of the worst tsunamis and storms this game brings on. Let's get started here. Today we're going to be working on the interior design part of this. So let's go ahead and get started here. So in the last video's comments, you guys said I should lower this area here so we can actually have space for the bunk bed. And then after this, once we're done clearing out this floor, we will start building the beds or something like that. We'll do some type of bedding. Uh, we still need a computer room. So we need somewhere to put all of our logic and stuff at. All right, I got the flooring all cleared out. We're going to go ahead and add some stairs here so we can safely get down because this would be a really bad drop to just go down, especially when we're on some terrible waves. I would not want to be going down a complete drop like that, but we're going to keep building this stair step, rotate it, and there we go. Looking nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a bed. I don't know if we can do bunk beds. I don't think we really have enough room, but we can definitely do beds like this. We could have the beds like this. We could probably block it off here so it looks a little better just like that perfect so now it looks nice and cozy we can have some storage area beneath the bed so very good design we got going on here and then on this side hmm what should we do on this side we'll probably do another bed maybe even two could we fit two? Oh my gosh that is i think we can fit two but we can like split them apart so watch this here we can do a gap right here and then they would actually have a wall so this wall right here would separate them like that. So then we'd have three sleeping areas. This could be like the captain's one since it's like a little far away from everyone. But here we go. We're going to put this wall here. We're going to probably have to delete those. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's there. Um, Put it like that. And then I do realize that we have to delete these now. So a whole bunch of stuff we're realizing. But that's fine. That's just what happens when you have to build a boat. But we still have a whole bunch of storage area actually under these. So... Perfect. Honestly, perfect. We, we could put like med kits under there, a whole bunch of stuff. Probably just gonna be like storage of some sort. We're gonna go ahead and spawn it and see if I can walk in there. I don't think we can, unfortunately, but honestly, it's just good giving it a try here. It's a bit dark and here we go. Okay. We, yeah, we can't walk. Oh wait. Yeah, we can. Hold on. We're walking in here. Perfect. This is so nice. It is really working out right now, but um, once we get over here, you like can't enter because this is now in the way. So it's like the perfect height to like walking. So you might just have to flatten it out like that. And then up here, we could have like computers or something. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to flatten the ceiling here. So we don't have all that walk up room. So like, just like that. And then we're also going to have to get rid of this so we can put the ceiling here. Those wedges wouldn't work. So this is what it would look like if I didn't get rid of those wedges. We'd have these gaps here and that would also make it not waterproof. So doing this was make this entire compartment back down here waterproof. An additional compartment up here for like a... Ooh, what should we put in here? That's the real question. I don't know what to put in that one. We have a whole bunch of extra space. Maybe we could put like a computer room of some sort, but I don't know. But now we have a whole bunch of room right here to do something. So we're going to get rid of these blocks and these ones also. I don't know. It just doesn't really look that good like that. So we're probably going to have it rise like this. Should we add a ballast system in here? I don't know. I don't know if we have enough room for that, actually. That would be kind of cool, but we're going to probably end it like right here. Maybe we do have a whole bunch of room right there still. Holy, okay. But yeah, we'll probably block it off right here. So we have like a little bit of walking room over here. Maybe a uh, bathroom. Yes, great idea. Uh, We do need a bathroom on board, of course. So we're going to, mm, this is going to be a really small bathroom. How should we do this? Maybe like a storage room behind this wall or like some logic, maybe important logic. But yeah, I don't know what we would put back here. We do have a, quite a bit of room once I delete all these extra blocks. I'm just shaping the design of the bathroom. So I think we might be able to do like a sink right here. Possibly. I don't know. It'd just be like one block sink like that. Um, should we have like an actual stand up shower? That'd be kind of crazy. I don't know if we have the room for that, but I'll attempt to do that here. Okay, so I kind of structured the toilet here. You can kind of see it. Uh, that's like where you put your booty cheeks at and then right here is like the water for the toilet and then we could have like some toilet paper on the side here so then right here we could maybe like design a sink of some sort so we're gonna attempt to do that i think we could do like some circular shape like this would make it look pretty nice as a sink here we go but then what do we put right here i don't know if we can do that here actually i have an idea we could like lock it off like this but is that too like short of a sink but then we could use an exhaust manifold through this menu and it would look like a faucet. So there we go. Now we can like have some water in there. Um, should we put, we could put like a monitor right here and it'd look like a mirror. So let's put a monitor. It'd have to be a two by three. Here we go. And this, we have a fairly large mirror here. And then if we have a camera and put it behind the mirror, I think it's either the small or the medium one. You can put a camera behind. It'll actually see through the 
block in front of it here. So let's do that. And we connect video logic to this. So yeah, we're getting into logic right now, guys. This is some interesting stuff. Bathroom's kind of getting set up here and then we could have some. So now we're attempting to build a shower. So literally the flooring is going to be the shower here. So we'd probably have to put like a fluid port there because maybe we should try making the shower work. Why not? We would actually have water start pour out of the shower. That'd be kind of funny. Um, Let's see. We need a fluid what's it called fluid nozzle here so let's grab a pipe like that so that fluid nozzle can be our shower head um it's gonna be sticking straight out but the water will like immediately fall down there's gonna be no pressure to it basically and yeah then we need to build a door here for the bathroom of course let's go ahead and do that do we have enough room yes we do working oh wait i don't know if this is gonna work actually oh shoot i just realized something well, look, because it's way too short in here, and the door's like one block taller than the actual thing, so. That's not gonna work, unfortunately. The only thing we can really do here is have it of like on like a sliding... We can do like a sliding hatch, so it'd be like you enter it from the bottom there. It'll slide up, and then it'll close the same way, basically, so. You'll have to crouch down to go in the bathroom, and then you can, you can probably... Could you stand up in here? We can make it so you could stand up in here. You know what? Why don't we do that? We could rise the ceiling. We want to be able to survive stuff, but we also want to have a light luxury experience also. Because I do like interior designing quite a bit here. So let's just go ahead, put some of the ceiling down here. There we go. All right. Looking nice. There we go. That's our ceiling. So now we could probably stand in here 100%. Um, and then we have that. We need to put a light in here. So put a light right there. And we also need something that looks like a fan. So we do need a fan in the bathroom. So probably like a fluid port would make it look like a fan. Let's go ahead and spawn that. We can put the fan like right next to the light. So like right here, we'll have a fan. So that's our fan right there. And then we can have a fluid port probably like right there. So this will be our drain. Wait, did I delete a weight block? Okay. You don't want to be deleting weight blocks because that'll definitely mess something up. Yeah, okay, that'll be our drain. We have some orange flooring. We should probably change that. I don't want orange flooring in here. We also need to color all the walls in the inside. Let's add some design to this bathroom here. So let's put this here, this here. You don't want it to all look square and blocky. You want to have some design to it and it will make it look much nicer. You guys need to trust me on that part. I don't know if that looks good. Maybe we did it like that. That might look pretty good. I don't know. Maybe that might be doing too much though. Here, here we're going to spawn it in and actually look at it because you got to like see it in person sometimes to see if it looks decent. But here we go. We're going to go in here. Hey, this is our bedroom area. You can kind of stand up in here. It's really short, but yeah, we'll have supply down there. Sorry if the flashlight's like super bright. I can tell. Here's our port. Yeah, we can stand up in here. It's looking nice in here. Okay, bathroom. We can actually go on the bathroom here and crouch down. Perfect. Honestly, looking nice in here. Look at this. This looks modern. Just because of those three wedges right there, it makes it look 10 times better. Then we have some hot and cold water settings, and we have to paint some stuff above them to make it kind of look like that actually we should only have one of these probably that one we'll delete that that second one kind of looks weird all right let's make a shower nozzle thing here so it'll tell us like what kind of temperature it's going at so we need to do hmm we got to make it look like the thing so this will look like the handle here this is the handle guys this is the handle and then it is on off right now and then i think the right so it'll go, it'll go clockwise or no it'll go counterclockwise is how you turn it on normally i don't remember but here we go this will be super cold over here and then it will get a little bit warmer ever so slightly and then i think it's like what do you do over here like green i think i think green would work yeah green and it'll start to get to yellow orange okay it's getting hotter now darker orange red if you have it on this setting you're gonna like die but here we go yeah that's the um bathroom thing that looks kind of terrible to be honest but you know it'll work for now let me know in the comments if there's something better i should do all right we need to connect like some plumbing system here so we need to make some plumbing for this bathroom so we need a pipe going back there that doesn't delete anything okay Perfect. So right here, we actually have a whole bunch of room to make some plumbing. So we need a pipe. Uh, we do not want a see-through pipe. So like a pipe like this and then a pipe at an angle. It doesn't matter if it's see-through now because nothing's back here important. Pump. So this will pump the water in from... Um, wait, are we doing... Should we do ocean water or um, water that we have like in a tank? So like a tank of water. 
I don't know which one we should we do. Okay, that way is to pump it in. All right, so I need to figure that out right now, though, probably. Um, I feel like there's enough room right here. We could probably pump it in with a small tank. We really aren't going to have a lot of room in the tank, but we could probably do a tank here. So we need to do... Let's get a tank. I don't know if we have a whole bunch of room for a medium, but we'll see. If Can I squeeze one in here? Let's try squeezing a pump in there. All right, and then... I kind of want some storage space right here, though. Will that get in the way? Nope, it won't, actually. That's perfect. All right, and then we need to connect the pipe to this. So put the pipe there, there, and there. Perfect. And then we actually need, like, a small button down here to actually enable the shower. So let's put a toggle button on. So when you click it, you want it to stay on. And this will activate the shower pump. And then this will type, we'll put shower here. Perfect shower um, on slash off. And then, um, oh, we still need a battery. Mm, okay, we need to put this somewhere important. All right, we're gonna medium battery. This thing needs quite a large battery. So let's see, where should we put a battery at? Um, we do have a whole bunch of room. We can put it like maybe under here. I don't know. We should have like a utility room somewhere, probably the engine room. I'll see the engine's going to weigh a lot. So I don't know if I want a battery back there here. You know what? I have an idea. I don't even know what I would put here. So why don't we just put the battery? Do we have enough room? Uh Oh, wait, do we? I don't think we do. Here, we're going to put the battery in here. Will it fit? It'll fit like vertically. I don't know if that looks good or not, though. I don't know. We'll just leave it there for now. Uh, we can always select it and move it. But yeah, we're going to connect electric to all this stuff in here, including our monitors that we did on the past video yesterday all right there we go everything should be working um we want to change this water though um it would have been diesel if i wouldn't have changed that so the shower would have been diesel that's not kind of a shower i want okay fresh water max power one it will go through there it'll pump it out in here and then we have a drain this drain actually doesn't work so yeah we'll have to figure out some type of bilge pump in there we're gonna spawn it and test it out of course in here activate this all right Let's test if the shower works. Let's turn it on. And shower does work. It works a little too good. It like floods the entire room. That's great. And then we should add a little dial in here that actually says like how much water we have left since it is connected to a um, tank. So we want to know how much we have left. And just in case we run out, um, this game doesn't have like a water heater system, but who cares? We, I don't think we even have enough room for that. We definitely don't. So Thankfully, we don't have to do anything like that. All right, so I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna put gray walls. It's all gonna be gray. And then we can put like some brown in here. It'll look better than what I'm saying because brown doesn't sound like a good color, but it'll kind of look like modern wood brown. So like if we did build up this wall with like brown and it'd look really nice. I feel like it'd look pretty modern if we had gray around it too. Um, let's see, how should we do this? I don't know, I still don't think this looks good. Let's just do some changing of color there. There we go, that looks better like that, I think. Um, let's make this like a lighter gray here, like the lightest gray possible so it doesn't match that. So here we go, this should look quite nice. Oh my gosh, we just got rid of something. We'll have it circle around this on the inside of it. There we go, looking nice, looking really nice, of course. It has to be luxury. If I'm building it, it's gotta be some type of modern kind of stuff. We might, we should add something on one of these walls. It looks a little plain yeah it's just how it is and then we'll make the sink here a little lighter color than everything else so you can actually see that there's a sink and then inside the sink it's normally like a metallic of some sort or like a metal so that looks pretty metal like all right bathroom's looking quite nice um we're gonna keep the ceiling white um floor we're gonna do floor. we're gonna put it gray i think floor is just gonna do some gray stuff there all right bathroom does look complete i forgot to get some spots now we're spawning in the ship here we're gonna check out the bathroom this thing's really leaning towards the front well once the engine's in i think it should level out quite nicely but if it doesn't we'll just get rid of some weight blocks because we do have a whole bunch of those all right this is the room we're talking about here all right and then our light is on too so but yeah this is our bathroom here with our lights and the thing we, we also added toilet paper and then we have a little pump right there and then a shower which actually works and we have a dial right here that says how much shower we have left before it runs out so this thing could probably run for like maybe a minute or two maybe less so yeah quite fun stuff in here but we're gonna start on this room and start designing this right here so i think all these beds should have brown lining on the side i just feel like that would look quite nice here let's do that I don't want the bed to be brown. That looks a little funky, but here we go. Then we're going to fill the walls of these beds in with gray. I think that'll be a cool little tone there. We don't want anything to be too bright, but um, obviously we're going to have lights in here, so it's not going to be like pitch black because these are pretty dark colors I'm using for this. I do agree. 
But yeah, I don't know what color these stands should be here. That's kind of like their nightstand, so I don't know. But wood, yeah, wood color definitely makes it look better. Okay, we'll do wood. Um, what should we do down here? We have to add some type of supplies and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm thinking of doing something like this. So we'd put a linear track right here. And I think we only need one. Actually, we're going to put one. Um, we need a motor part right here. Let's make sure it's going the right direction down here. And then we can connect some supplies to that. Then we can put a line right here. It's all connected to that subgrade so it should move back and forth let's grab some supplies so what kind of supplies do you think we should have in this thing we need a flashlight we're gonna put a couple of those under this dude's bed put some binoculars and then we could maybe grab a radiation detector that seems interesting radiation detector oh and a radio too thanks for popping that up game radio of course and then we're gonna get a radiation detector once this actually decides to work um radiation detector should be like a little one right here all right handheld radiation detector and then we can get one more thing so what should our next and last item be for this bed here we'll do a glow stick that's interesting a glow stick just in case the power goes out you guys never know okay we're gonna fill it on the bottom here so there we go and then will this work i don't know we're gonna have to test it real quick but I, hopefully it doesn't fall off yet so got this microcontroller here that will be functioning this thing so hmm, we'll just put it up here in the microcontroller area for now i don't know if this should be it let me know where I should put it. I might just have it like right here under the captain's quarters. And then maybe we could have like a hatch up here that um, we can open that in. But here we go. Let's um, connect the input to that. And then, oh yeah, we need a button for it. So maybe like right here, we'll put a button. Let's get a toggle button. And then it should all function properly here once we connect this up. Connect the button to this. And then this to the linear thing. We already did that. And then when it's on, it should go to plus one plus one and then when it's off it goes to negative one there we go all right now we need electricity for it let's go ahead and do that electricity and for the button all right let's test if this works i sh it should work so then once i click the button it should auto extend it out so some pretty advanced stuff there there we go it does auto extend it and then we still have enough room to go in the bathroom with that opened so yeah got a whole list of stuff and then we can have some lights up here so it'll be easier to see so yeah looking nice we might do that to this bed right here we're just gonna do the same thing to this side over here same equipment and all just because it's easier so there we go got that there all right let's go ahead and save it spawn it in and hopefully both of them work uh the, the first one we did definitely works we did already test that uh oh i spawned in it in a really bad way it like dragged it down all right now it's good it flipped back over so that's what we want perfect and then if we spawn in both of them we cannot walk through here, but that's fine. Who cares? Who needs to walk through here with both of those? Up? We just redid the bedrooms. Here we are. These are the final versions of the bedrooms. We still might um add some stuff, but final version for now, bedrooms. These buttons do activate the lights. I have not connected all the logic for them yet. So we, we're going to go ahead and do that and record this little part here. But yeah, we have cool little paintings on each one. This one's a one of a boat. Um, it kind of looks like our boat. Maybe I could like color it to make it look like ours. A palm tree in this one or a cool little palm tree beach thing. Um... Then a helicopter in this one. I don't know why there's a helicopter, but did some more customization to the crew bedroom. Here it is. We got some repair equipment here. These will automatically recharge too. So if we use all the power out of those, it will recharge. We did, we did connect um, electric to them, as you can see here. And then these stairs right here are absolutely beautiful. We got some stairs here. We're going to go ahead and spawn this thing in and we're going to see how it looks. All right, let's go ahead and look in here. All right, looking nice. All these lights do indeed work, but we're not going to have them on. It is a huge waste of electricity. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments what stuff we should add to this. But yeah, we still need to add like stabilization, engines, basically the important stuff. We're just going to get uh, interior designing out of the way. We still need to add stuff in the bridge here, but we'll do that in a whole nother video. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let me know if you are. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and goodbye.